Hello. Sometimes it seems like we're in this never-ending rat race, right? We're always trying to get ahead or get the best parking spot or the best deals or, or whatever. But yet, those kinds of things aren't the kind of things that lead to true happiness. A sense of happiness has been proven to be a major contributor to good health and satisfaction in life. Now, there's many things that contribute to our own personal uh, sense of happiness. But one of the more powerful things is to have this sense of contentment. Contentment can be thought of as being satisfied with what, we've already ha what we already have or what we've already accomplished. And, and being content with what we have relieves us of the stress of constantly driving for more, more, more. You know, sometimes we have this craving for something that either isn't ours or isn't something that's good for us. And addictions are, are one form of craving, right? Well, on a happier note, you know, many of us like chocolate, but too much chocolate is harmful to our health. Or alcohol, a, a drink or two of alcohol isn't necessarily bad. Too much alcohol, harmful to, to many things, right? Then there is that saying about the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, right? The side that we can't get to or the side that we shouldn't get to. And, you know, one of the biggest examples of contentment is, is like in, in, uh, in our marriages, right? It's good to crave your own spouse. I mean, that's why you married them, right? But yet, if you're craving somebody else's spouse, that can lead to some very bad outcomes, damaging to ourselves and to others. Well, I do believe that God wants us to be happy and satisfied in our lives, to have that sense of contentment that leads to true happiness. And he has given us the words of life. And one of the words of life that God has given us warns us about craving those things that are on the other side of the fence, right? And he sent Jesus to help us understand those words of life and to help guide us to live better, more joyful lives, something that we all will benefit from. And that's what we're talking about this week at Calmo. And it's just one of the ways we live into our core values that include loving God and caring for our neighbors. Check out our full message this week. I'm sure that you'll find it interesting and helpful. I'm your neighbor, Jerry, pastor at Calmo Church. Have a great day, have a great week, and bye for now.